kill. This deer is so his body, dude. That's that's my biggest buck today. Now this actually all started through Instagram. One of my good buddies now, Tanner Stay, he left a comment on one of my pictures and I actually clicked on his profile and started scrolling through it. And I started to think to myself, this dude kills big deer. So I messaged him, I was like, bro, where do you live? And he told me Illinois. We got on the phone, we started talking, we really hit it off. And within a couple hours, we had dates planned, plane tickets booked and tags purchased. I meet Tanner, I meet Jesse, I meet Toby. They just take me under their wing. They have a whole full finished basement. I'm sleeping downstairs, waking up early in the morning, duck hunting. We duck hunted hard for shoot three or four days waiting on this perfect cold front. Just this perfect scenario to go in here and wax a big white tail. We're supposed to shoot. There's the one we're supposed to shoot. He's right here in the field. The one we're supposed to shoot in the field. Yes, that's Taylor's. Get the lens quick. Holy oh, shit, get the lens out. We gotta get this deer on camera. Oh, look at There he goes, get on him, Miller. Running straight through, he's gonna get me, ain't gonna make it out of the field. Yeah, make it out of the field. <laughs> she done. <laughs> <I> mean, <sighs> oh, oh, Illinois, dude. As soon as I shot, he hit the gas pedal, and I could tell by the way he was running, he wasn't making it far. He ran about 40 yards, piled up right in front of us. It was the most picture-perfect hunt you could ever ask for, and from that moment, I was hooked on hunting Illinois. Rolling into the 2021 season, I set myself a new goal. I bought a new bow, I wanted to get back into bow hunting, and I was determined to get a nice, mature whitetail down with it. Now, my first stop was Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. I went out there to hunt with Seek One, and Lee put me in the juice. his heart out. I think I hit a little bad. I think he hit his heart out. And up until this point, I had never even shot a buck with my bow. I've passed on some good deer with a bow back in the day, but I never shot a buck with a bow. About an hour goes by, here comes a doe. This doe worked us and worked us forever, finally came into bow range, stuck it right in her shoulder, right through the heart. She took off running and she didn't go 40 yards. After Georgia, I went back home. I stuck one more doe with a bow right before this trip. Again, right in the shoulder, absolutely pounded her. And then it was off to Illinois. After getting to Illinois, I went ahead, shot my bow a couple times, made sure I was dialed and I was pinging them out to 40 yards in a group like that. And I had plenty of confidence on taking deer 40, 50 yards. That being said, it was straight to the woods. The weather was just not right for us. We were waiting on some cold snaps. They weren't really happening and we didn't see one coming anytime soon. So it was just, let's get in the woods and hunt. We went on about two or three hunts, passed on a lot of good deer, but just not quite what we were looking for. The weather just didn't have the mature bucks needing to be on their feet. We decided to go to a new farm where we knew we had a nice mature 10 point coming in. Probably a 140 inch deer, but Pope and Young, I wanted them bad. Tanner had pinged the stand on my map and we were off to the races to this new spot, wanting to get after this deer as soon as possible. The wind was perfect. Everything just seemed to be in our favor when we came walking up on this beautiful green food plot with a big, nice box house on it. We climbed up into the stand and I knew I was kind of willing to shoot a doe. We're hanging out, we're waiting around. Nothing's really happening. And then we start feeling this cold come into the blind and we knew things were about to get juicy. Got a shitload of deer beside us. There's the buck, there's the buck. No food plant. The buck's in here. That's the ten point. The big ten is in the plot. Are you kidding this? Yeah. He's at ten yards. Take it. Judged. 
that arrow just zips right under him, man. It was so freaking close. Come to find out, he was probably about 43 yards. I was heartbroken there for a second, but then he immediately starts chasing those again. He has no clue I'm there. The adrenaline was through the roof. Biggest deer of my life with a bow right in front of me and I just shot under him and he goes right back to chasing does. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're about to get another chance. He's back. Oh, no, is that a dog? Give me the dog. That is him. That is, that's the deer. That's him. It's not over till it's over. He's at 61 yards. Oh my gosh. He had no clue. I could launch one at him. Would it be stupid? Probably. He's at 60. If he comes to 50, I'll get him. Oh, dude. Give me one more shot. I'm about to launch a 60 bomb at him. I can hold on my 50 pin. All right, it's now or never. I drew back knowing I didn't have a 55 yard pin, but I had a 50. So knowing he was at 55 yards, I put it on his back. And to this day, I don't know where that arrow went. All I know is it did not freaking hit him. It was a total heartbreak. I mean, it was, it was uh, a sad, sad day. So the day after I missed my buck, Illinois actually had a second firearm season coming in. After checking the weather, it looked good. The forecast was perfect. We had a big cold snap coming and we knew we had to have everything perfect and we had to be hunting over some food when this cold snap hit. So we went to the farm that I shot my deer last year at, moved some stands around to hunt the forecasted winds, knocked some corn over and it was game on. We know what happens when cold fronts hit Illinois. The deer flock to the food. While we were in there, we went ahead, pulled the camera cards, checked the inventory, and we had a giant double split brow big split G2 monster of a buck coming in there. The guys have actually had some history with this deer from passing them last year and finding a shed. They even had a close encounter with them this year and they couldn't seal the deal. We hunted that blind two days straight, going on six, seven days of hunting every single evening, really grinding it out, trying to get this deer. Saturday, December 4th, we woke up, we walked outside. It was a crisp 32 degrees. It was the weather that we've been waiting for. We knew that that night, something big was gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight is the night. Now we have a cold front coming in and it's already getting chilly. The pressures are high. Deer hunting is gonna be phenomenal. Now it was about a day or two ago, I actually missed that buck with the bow and we've hunted since and we've let some pretty good deer go. I think we let go a nice 10 point, big, nice eight or nine point. And then, you know, a couple other small bucks here and there, but we literally have the spot. This high pressure, this cold front coming in, the deer are gonna be moving. Like it's supposed to snow in like a day or two. Jesse, what do you think? What do you think? I think with the, we've got like 20 degrees difference in the last day. So yeah. I think there's a solid chance that either no brow or the common baseball walks. Yeah, up. exactly. And you're hunting tonight. What deer are you hunting? I'm hunting my wide 10 pointer. Your wide 10? Inside point. Should be a good night. I'm, I'm calling that you shoot at four. 57. Really? 457. 457. That's the time. Now the stand I'm actually going to, there's a buck there that we call split brows, which is this buck right here, dude. That freaking deer. That split brows. Beautiful buck. And we also have a buck in there called no brows, which is basically just this massive framed eight point that doesn't have eye guards. Deer has an absolute huge frame, man. So uh, hopefully we get one of those two bucks. Those are our two main options, but I know with this cold front, we there could be new deer just showing up in there. Like it is, the weather's perfect. Perfect. Now we actually got about a 30 minute drive to the stand, so we need to go hop in the truck. Then I'll show you guys what I'm shooting tonight. Oh boy, so we're rolling up onto the farm now. And where I actually killed my big buck last year here, right over there. But we're actually gonna be hunting this side of the road today. There's actually our stand right there. And like I said, we've hunted this stand the past two nights and the deer have been flooding in here. This is the farm that me and Jesse came and worked on uh, about three days ago. And it is just such a juicy prime spot. Not only a split browse and no brows in here but there's also a big 10 kind of running around we might have a chance at them tonight just because the weather's just perfect but let's go ahead hop out we got a lot of camouflage to get on a lot of stuff to get settled and i need to show you guys what i'm shooting with tonight because uh, i'm actually bringing two killing machines to the stand well ladies and gentlemen we are ready to go into the stand now it is gun season gun season came in and day or two ago so we have to wear orange I actually got a 20 gauge shotgun for a rifle old slug gun so uh should be absolutely de juice should be able to slap scope cam on here and uh, lay a giant out 
But if one of the shooters comes into the plot early and it looks like he's coming towards us, you can actually fill your gun tag with a bow. So I'm bringing my bow. I need redemption. I do have a bow tag left, so I can actually shoot two deer with the bow or shoot one with the gun and then wait till gun season that goes out and then fill my other bow tag with the bow. With this cold front coming in, I think we're gonna stay in Illinois for a couple more days, see how it pans out. Deer are gonna be on their feet. They're gonna be eaten, but it's coming down to the wire. I got two buck tags left and a doe tag. I don't think we're gonna be shooting any does, especially at this spot. There's too many bucks around here. Let's head into the stand. We got quite the walk over there. Now the stand's actually right up there. So what Tanner and Jesse do here in Illinois, they get with the farmers, they tell the farmers where they want an acre or two of standing corn left, and then they leave it and then everything else gets tilled and so this two acres of corn is like the deer's main source of income right now and with this cold front coming in it's gonna be game over i'm expecting us to have a 40 deer set i think there's gonna be deer coming in all night we're coming up on the stand now it's right here one of these beautiful nice box blinds we got a big standing patch of corn in between us and where the deer are gonna be so there might be deer on the other side we're gonna have to take it slow and see i think we're in the clear we're gonna go ahead climb up into the stand get settled in and get all the cameras rolling. These deer can just flow in here like the floodgates open, man. Holy shit, we got deer coming in right now. I mean, hold on, I haven't even loaded my gun. We just sat down. This camera right here you guys are watching me on is the only camera we have even ready. Just got to the stand. We are just sprayed anti-fog on the windows and was wiping them down, just wiping, wiping, wiping. And I look up and there's two does just beeline and straight at us. So we already have two deer down in the field. Nothing set up yet. I'm about to throw the scope cam on this gun. They are coming in here early. They know this cold front's coming. They're looking back like more deer are coming. Oh, she's coming right to us. She's on to us. We're gonna go ahead, just stop all filming and just get ready. We gotta get all of this gear ready. We got four cameras we gotta get set up. Guns, bows, gotta get all this ready, but we gotta be super sneaky doing it because these deer are at 40 yards. All right, boys, those two does have cleared. We're looking saucy. We're looking juicy. Deer are moving early. It's gonna be an absolutely bang up awesome sit. We're sitting over this beautiful cornfield. Deer are gonna be coming out of the woods, coming into us dead on, and from the side over here, coming into this corn to feed. I haven't been more confident on a hunt. This one with the weather, the, the setup, I mean, everything's just dialed in to kill a good deer tonight. And if we don't kill a good one, we're gonna see a bunch of deer. We're gonna sit back, relax, and uh, wait for some deer to come in. Got a little spike coming in. He's making a beeline straight for us. We actually have about an hour of shooting light left, so uh, it's still pretty early. I think the night's about to be a super sick sit. I just turned this camera off and a big group of does worked in on our left. The deer are starting to move. It's happening. It's it's showtime. Oh, here comes a doe. Out front. Nope, another spike. <laughs> Fucking North Carolina 11 points right here, boy. The deer are starting to pour into here. This one on the right's bowed up like he's mad. I see a little fight action. Oh yeah, he's pissed. We might see a fight. The one on the right, 100%. Fuck you. The one on the right, I wanted my money's on that one. I wanted him. Where are the big bucks at? Another one? Yeah, right up front. Oh yeah, it's here. Deer to our left. Deer to our left. Bunch of We are covered up in deer right now. And we still have plenty of shooting time. This is perfect. We actually got a, a spike out in front of us that literally looks like a zombie from all the warts on them. Any minute, a monster's gonna step out. It's just a matter of time. Got deer pouring into the field now. Probably 15 deer to our right and six out front with two little bugs. Hey, what's that? That's a bigger bug right there. I don't think it's a shooter. Six point over here. A big four point. What is, what is that one? Is that oh, one? right out front. Holy shit. Big, big bug, big bug, big bug. Split brow. Oh my god. That's split brow. 
I hit him. I don't know where I hit him at. Don't go out the field. Stop, 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 stop. Don't make it out. Don't make it out. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. He's got you. Oh my gosh. No, he's gonna go down right there. Are you filming him? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna go down right there. Oh no. Oh no. He's going to He's going We watched that deer for so long, bro. He came out and I was I was glassing him up. I was like, is this him? Is this him? And then I seen that big split brow, dude. And I was like, no way. And he beelined straight for us 25 yards. I don't even know what pin I shot for. My, tw my 20 yard and 30 yard pin were, were dead freaking on. So I was like, all right, right in between the two because I thought he was right at 25-ish. Oh my God. You didn't make it out of the field. You didn't make it out of the field. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That makes you feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time? Bro, two minutes till shooting lights over. <sighs> we gotta call Jesse. Oh my god, dude. Let's go! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! With brows, dude! Fuck yes! With a bow! And I, when he got to 25 yards, like, bro, I can't do it with a gun. I have to shoot him with a bow or so it's not gonna be right. That might be the biggest buck I've shot today, and it's with a bow. Oh my god. Second let's, bow buck ever. Let's freaking go, bro. Oh my god. Let's gosh. freaking go. Hey Siri, call Jesse IL. He <laughs> didn't make it out of the field, bro. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Guess who's down, baby? Split brows with a bow, 25 yards. Did you? Is he down in the field? Oh, he's down in the field. <laughs> hey, just meet us out here, all right? All right, we'll do. All right, see ya. Oh, he didn't make it out the field, he dude. Field. Fuck yes! We went off to Kansas, hunted there, hunted Missouri for ducks and waterfowl, came to Illinois. I hunted here last year with these guys. Freaking amazing dudes. Jesse Tanner, I love you boys. Toby, I love you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's redemption. That is. From missing the buck yep. with the bow uh -huh. at 40. Yep. Shot with, shot, shot. He was at 43. Shot with my uh, 40 yard pin. No, I shot with my, I was 38 yards. I shot for 38 yards. He's at 42, 43. Yeah. Zipped right under him. Redemption right there. Oh, holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's a big deer. That's a big freaking deer, bro. This little cold front. I knew tonight we were going to kill. I knew it. Let's go ahead and start packing up and uh, climb on down. We ain't got much of a blood trail. <laughs> I have not been this freaking pumped in so long, boys. Christian, dog, get your ass down here, bro. I'm so freaking stoked right now. Fuck, let's go. What a freaking hunt, dude. Came down to the last minute. Christian, what do you think about dude, that? Dude, my heart was racing, bro. <laughs> oh, my bro, gosh. Mine was pumping out of my chest i couldn't imagine being you i could not imagine <laughs> let's go see this deer dude wait till you see this body on this deer the illinois deer they're not like back home christian <laughs> they're giant. i ranged him at 25 he jumped back to 32 and then started working his way closer and wouldn't get broadside so i shot him for about 25 just dead center 25 is what i went for i'd, I'd probably say he was right here when i shot didn't go 20. oh my gosh here we can come back and find the arrow oh dude look at his horns Oh my god. He's wide, dude. No freaking way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that deer. Oh my gosh. Look at dude. the big split brow. Look at the split G2 right here. Dude, that deer's got so much character. Holy cow. All right, that exit was far back. Looking at it, Jeez. the boys kept telling me, dude, do not hit the shoulder. Do not hit the shoulder. I shot about two inches left of where I was aiming in about a inch higher than what i was going for but smoked them lungs double lung dude hell yeah oh his antler got covered in blood that makes it all worth it right there holy crap it's been eventful last week dude hunting hard deer not cooperating shooting for the long range we just got it done not with a gun but with a bow <laughs>
deer and gun season. I'm just gonna say 28 yards, Probably. call it that. No, from where my arrow hit, I'd say it was 25 when I shot. We got her done. We got her done, dude. Oh my gosh. The deer's a little bloody right now. We can't show that on YouTube, so that's that's kind of the sad part, but we're, we're gonna pick up the camera whenever the boys get here because uh, they're bringing Julius, Tanner, Jesse, the whole crew, baby. Well, while we wait on the boys to get here, I wanna go ahead and see if we can find this arrow. See if we can blood trail him backwards. Dude, he was bleeding like a stuck pig. Now I got the big boy light, I can find it. Dude, he is bleeding bad. Double lunged, man. I got blood right here. Found you found the arrow? Yeah, I found it. Is it stuck in the dirt? Yeah, Dude, look how bloody that arrow is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, I can check this arrow out. Holy cow. Talk about getting smoked. Wow, that arrow looks good. Dude, I don't want to get bloody just by touching it. Look at how freaking bloody that arrow is freaking rage man i think that's a two and a half inch freaking smoked him it's about 30 yards 25 30 yards the shot actually looks perfect other than he was quartering away just a little bit i tucked it right in there dude i hear the duramax coming they are on a roll over here man that deer's definitely gonna score more than uh kicker the deer i shot last year and this one was with the bow i mean i don't even know what he'll score i mean his beams aren't super long but he's got 12 scorable points if you count the broken off split brow on his left side. I don't know, maybe 138. <laughs> what up, pimps? Y'all got, dude, how many people y'all got in the truck? There's four of us. Holy cow. Hi. Dude. <laughs> dude, I'm so pumped. Jesse, bro. Yo, bro. I am so freaking Congrats. high. Check him oh, out. Oh, I'm stroking him too. Right? Oh, 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 what a good deer, dude. If you, he had that right there, he's got 12 scorable points. Because oh. I think that right there will score. I think that's an Oh, inch. I didn't even see it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, definitely that's an definitely inch. Score. Yeah. Jesus. I'm bro. freaking pumped. There you go. Biggest deer with bow, right? I, you think he's going to score more than. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Biggest deer ever, then. Yeah. With a butt. With a butt. <laughs> bro, literally, the last. Five minutes of shooting light. I'm like, there's deer pouring in this way, deer pouring in this way. And then I just see, I was like, oh, Christian, bro, we got 20 coming in right in front of us, coming out right here. Really? In a row? Like they were, 20? They were pouring. Single? They pouring. were just pouring. tripping over each other. Pouring. And dude, I was like, there he is. There he is. I was like, let me double check. Let me double check. I was like, ah, that might not be him. And then I seen that big split G2. I was like, dude, that's fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> and so he beelines it straight like, to the stand. Da, 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 da. He beelines it straight to the stand. My heart's pounding out of my chest, bro. Oh my I'm like, should I shoot him with a rifle? Shoot him with a buzz? I was like, bro, if, if he's within 30 yards, I can't use the rifle. A I'd rather, I'd rather shotgun. Not a rifle. A shotgun. 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 <laughs> I would rather miss him with the bow at 30 yeah. than shoot him within 30 yards with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, all right. I mean, we got, at this point, there's 40 deer within 50 yards. Oh, and I'm like geez. reaching back, getting my bow, putting the arrow on, tightening up my release. And he's sitting here at 25 yards. Oh, I go oh. ahead, I range him 25, open up the window, getting ready, and he just darts. So he runs seven yards back. I range him again, 32 yards. Like, oh, he ranged him again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> again. I, I was like, 32 yards, all right. So then he's facing us. And I'm just sitting here, I'm sitting here. And he start, he's just facing us, facing us, facing us. I was like, dude, he might not turn. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, we're gonna have to throw up the shotgun. Were you and drawing shoot. back? <laughs> no, I wasn't drawn back yet. So he's facing us, and I bet he faced us for what? It felt like an eternity. Yeah. Dude. It felt yeah. like forever. Finally turns broadside. I'm moving my chair trying to get in the range, you know. <laughs> it does a slip one out. He's kind of quartering towards us. He's like, don't hit that front shoulder, don't hit that front shoulder. So I was like, all right, Christian, you ready? And I draw back, dude. I'm like, Fuck, what's range is he at? <laughs> I'm like, all right. He was at 32, he's came closer and he can't be closer than 25. Fuck it, 20 to 30 pin, put it right in between <laughs> and sent it. <laughs> oh oh God. God. Did not run 25 yards. You should see yeah, no the kidding. footage. Hold on. Is it good? When looking on the camera, you can see the arrow hit him. That's so close. That's the light. Oh my oh God, dude. God. Watch, watch, watch. But it gets better. Please. Watch. Oh dude, look at him. Oh. Watch oh, him start to wobble. Oh, oh. Starts to wobble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, Chris, listen that. to us, listen dude. to us. <laughs> dude, I heard Christian. Christian's like, Christian, like, he's bleeding, he's bleeding, he's bleeding. I seen that blood coming out of him. I was yeah. like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, you guys were like screaming in there. Bro, we like were, little sissy girl. I don't think I've ever been that hyped over a deer. Oh well, boys, here he is. We just got done taking pictures. Oh my gosh, dude. His beams are a little short, but everything else, man, holy cow, this split on this G2 is ridiculous. Split brows. I'll probably have the taxidermist add on the brow right here because it was just as long as this one. And uh, that split 
is literally so juicy. It broke off right here. It probably came up to about right here. I mean, the cool factor and split brows and this massive split G2, bro. Holy crap. Finally got it done. He's got 12 scorable points if you count the broken off tine right here. It looks like he's chipped off right here, but dude, check this out. From this deer fighting, look at the scarring. He's lost all his hair behind his antlers and look at all these puncture wounds from fighting other deer. These big deer in Illinois here, dude, they get tore the hell up, man. So sick. This deer, Tanner, what's your guess? Score. 142 and 3 eighths. Jesse, what do you think he's gonna score? Low 140s. What's your guess? <laughs> 139 and 3 eighths. I don't know if you recognize this jacket at all. Uh-uh. The last time I wore this was last year when you shot your buck. And I really? put it away. And when you left, I grabbed it out of my closet and said, I'm putting this on and Braden's killing tonight. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That he is walks awesome. in my room and gets me out of bed. He's like, he's like, see this jacket? I'm like, yeah. He's like, Braden killed last time I wore this. He's like, he's gonna kill tonight. <laughs> no so, way. Old strapped up in the old flannel, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's, That's fucking awesome. Just an absolute gorgeous buck man this deer's gonna look good on the wall holy cow he's gonna taste good too so much personality you got this kicker down here double split brows huge split g2 absolute animal of a deer man second buck ever with a bow uh the first buck i shot was with seek one the seven point and uh i missed that freaking 10 point well boys we gotta go ahead and tag this deer before we can actually move them so uh illinois is kind of weird man they like georgia go on your phone type in county sex done my state punch a hole in a tag go home call it in and be like yo you shot yada 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 and so and so county done but here you gotta have all these paper tags dude so this is actually you put this one under back here in the leg and zip tie it just like this around this freaking pisser so we'll zip tie that tag on them right there and is there a tag for the antlers yep right here so this right. one goes on his antlers yep i do it between the brow and g2 yep there we go tag this bad boy right here and we are legal man dude i'm so happy i shot him with the bow first ever wall hanger of the bow i'm pumped oh, let's go again. hell yeah all right let's drag this big beast over to the truck damn these deer are heavy <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's a big old boy. <laughs> all right, I think I'm just gonna load all the stuff into the bed of your truck. Yeah, I'll just drive you back. And drive to us yours. to the truck. Oh, fuck. Yes, baby. All right, let's go get all the rest of our stuff. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't shoot this, that deer with a rifle, dude. It's so rewarding how it all came together. Last freaking minute. I wish we had a ticker going, a timer going, dude. All right, boys, y'all headed to the house? We'll see you there. We'll see y'all there. Hell yeah, baby. We're gonna go ahead, hop in the truck, and roll on back to the house and meet back up with these guys and uh, take care of this deer. Oh, baby, we have made it back. Dude, let's go see this deer again. Maybe we go ahead and score him. Go ahead and score him. Definitely. Hey, bust out the tape measure. Ugh. What a freaking buck, man. I haven't been this stoked in a while with a bow, dude. I think the bow is what really sets it off for me. Gives me a little bit of a chub. You got the tape measure, Jesse? Got my sheet. Yeah. You writing it on a paper plate? Oh yeah, we always score deer on plates. Sweet. There, take that, take your pen. Oh shit, he doesn't have near as bad as beams as I thought he did. Really? 21 and 5 8. Left brow is 6 and 1 8. This is like the fun part. This is the moment of truth. Is his sticker on his base going to be an inch? Yeah, I want to know that. Come on, give us an inch. Right there to, oh, oh hell yeah. two eights. Alrighty. Oh, sticker's bigger than I thought it was. What a deer, dude. What a hunt. Right on 18. Yeah, he's going to be extremely 40s. Into the ahead. warmth we go. I think he's going to be bigger than we think. Are you going to take your sheet at the other end of the table? At the other end of the table? I don't get to watch it? No, of course. You know how this goes. You've had this happen. You don't get to know it until the final <laughs> score is in. Make sure you don't... Uh, Lose a G2 or something in there. Trust me, I won't. So Jesse actually let this deer go. And then Captain Hook, the deer I let go last year, got shot last night. So this deer is kind of like the backup. Him or no brow. And this is a good two inches down from the, the broken uh, split brow he's got. Yeah. I mean, at least two inches. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't spoil it to us. I've been allergic to deer this year. Every deer I've shot or dealt with or cleaned, I get freaking tore up after. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. It has never, I've never had that issue till this year. Like I just all of a sudden I'm allergic. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say it. 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 What? <laughs> what? Ain't, ain't no way. No. Final guesses. What'd you say? I said 142. What'd you say? You can't say it, but what'd you say originally? I don't even know if you said anything. I, I, said, I said 139 and 3 eighths. 
Not this guy. Braden, stand up here. Welcome to the 150 Club. You're no, freaking not. Away. You're fucking not. 153. Are you serious? <laughs> 153 and 7 eights? Yeah. What was I thinking? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no way. Fucking huge. Oh. We way undershot that oh deer. No, not a shot. 150. Dude, dude, plus, you need to re-add this. Plus the two inches. I, I redid the whole thing twice. That's you that's it. You redid it twice. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't counting the broken off. No, he was 155. He was over. He was one, yeah. He was 155 or 156. Oh yeah. Dude, you shitting me, dude. My biggest deer of the bone. I let him go. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that. What I would oh my god! I, I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, he'll get 141. Yeah, that's what I was and then I, I was like, hoping we'd break I 140. Doing the measurements, <laughs> and I was like, oh fuck. And I, when I was done with it, and I turned around from the truck, and I, I almost said it out loud. Yeah, I was like, you know what I'm gonna say? I almost said in, it out loud. in my mind, I was like, I, in my mind, I went, wow, that was a lot of measurements. I was like, he's gonna be damn close to 150. <laughs> Ain't no way I shot 150 almost. Let's Ain't just, no way. Let's I'm just say sure, 155. I'm pretty sure it's on video. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I'm pretty sure it's on video. With a bow. Holy fuck, bud. I just oh. need to go the hell home before <laughs> Jesse kicks me out. <laughs> Give me a hug, bro. Congrats, bro. Fuck yes, bro. Oh my goodness. Did you send that to Tanner yet? No. Here, let's, let's call FaceTime. him. FaceTime. FaceTime Tanner. Hey, so real quick, what did what did we think Brayden's deer was going to go? I said 142. Okay, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to tell you if you can read that. 153? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, That's what I'm saying. We started putting the tape on him. I was like, oh, oh. You guys are crack. Dude, we're not, dude. Seriously. Five and a half inch bases. <laughs> yeah, you just set the bar a little bit higher for yourself next time. Yeah, I don't know uh, how we're gonna do that. <laughs> All right, well, congrats, dude. Yeah, man, I All appreciate right. it. We'll see ya. See ya. Bye. Holy shit, bro. I can't, I'm like, it just keeps getting better and better. Double slip brows, big giant common base G2. About everything you can ask for in characteristics in a deer out here. Over a 150, with a bow. <laughs> I'd have been spoiled to shoot him with a rifle, and we got it done with a bow. What did we say? We called it. Standing yep. in the driveway, called it. Yeah, it was gonna happen. Tanner was real close. He was only a minute off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, 457, you're gonna shoot that deer. We probably stuck him at like 458, 459. All right, let's go get to it. Well, boys, we gotta take care of this deer. We're gonna go ahead and gut him and uh, let him sit overnight. Cold enough now that this cold weather has got here. I freaking guess, dude. 139 and 38. Well, I've made it to the 150 club. Holy shit, with a bow. I've been tickled to death shooting him with a rifle. And here I am shooting him with a bow. You know, if I knew he was 153, I probably wouldn't have pulled out the bow. You think so? I think you know, I would have. I can't mess this up. Yeah, Which, I, you gotta get him down. Yeah, no, I would have cried if I knew. I thought he was 140s. I thought he was low, low 140s. Those beams do not look 21 inches, but dude, they are. All right, everybody, watch out. Fuck. Giant, dude. Illinois, man, never disappoints. He'd be 155, 156 with that two, two and a half, three inches he's missing. Well, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe if you have not already. Our hunting trip is almost over. I know we've been busting out a lot of hunting videos, a lot of waterfowl, and now it's kind of morphed into the deer hunting scene. We're headed back to North Carolina. We got some new side-by-sides and four-wheelers on the way. So uh, for all you uh, power sports enthusiasts, that's going to be fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Check out the first link in the description if you guys want to pick up some bp hunt co merch you guys have been killing the sales on it it honestly by the time this video goes live it might be sold out you guys have been smashing that shit so go check it out if you want some if you guys would like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs>